Hello, uh, I'm here to give a quick overview of the Supergrid starter pack and it was just made uh, free forever by Epic. Uh, and I already created a project, I am just finished building lightning so we get some nice effects. And I must say I'm actually super impressed with how this is done and how it's presented. Uh, there's no point going through the level without actually playing the level. So let's get in there. So, uh, you get into the lobby. Uh, you can go into the onto the website. You get in here, you click and it opens in the browser. There's a change log for the... Uh, for the plugin, which is super cool. You can like browse through it. I'm, like That's super nice to have. And then there are teleports, which you actually get and you can use them. I love them. So let's go to the first chamber. So this is just a material overview. Uh, it doesn't have to be gritty. You can have a hexagonal material and you can have a like architecture. So this is a marble that's on the wall here. Or you can have a hexagonal material. These are for scale only, and there's a teleport back. Simple as that. Cool. You get all these materials, you get all that. Let's go to the chambers, to number two. So this one is funny. Uh, this is actually a maze. And I'm not sure, is there an easy way through? I don't think there is an easy way through. Yeah, I know I went the wrong way. <laughs> so the way through is actually around here, I think. Nope, the other way around. I already went through this again uh, before. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is how you make your, your maps, right? You just create a maze. And you force players to go through it. Yeah, this is the correct path. Yeah, there's stairs, and you went through a simple maze, and I went, I dropped down. Yay! So that was left, right, right. Like this is super cool for creating puzzles and stuff like that. Uh, there are nice light bridges. Yeah, there's a master blueprint. Uh, there are some groups over here. Yeah, so you can tweak the materials. I'm not sure you can do anything with these. Not inside the actual game. But what's cool about this one, you can actually jump down. And I figured this out by mistake. You can actually jump onto the beans so if I oh I can crouch cool so we can walk on them to get back up so creating a nice platformer with this would be super easy I'm terrible at platformers so I'm not going to get back so let's uh, play again And you can actually go through here, you can rate it, you can uh, provide the feedback. And there is a demo level here, you get all of these uh, examples, all of the options. You get some material overview, gr uh, grids, some features. Uh, some basic uh, shapes, columns, and then you're here. And I actually didn't manage to go get over there. So I have no idea how to get over there, at least not 
easily. Uh, so the easiest way is probably to go over here. I actually did get over here. How did I get over there? Oh, there's a teleport somewhere down here. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, if I do play from here. Cool. So there's actually an elevator down here. So you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with this. Everything in here is built using this spec. So this is nice for I don't know, portal kind game or platformers. Uh, you need to double jump because that's gonna hide. And I, as I said, I'm terrible with platformers. So I'm not even going to try again. This requires you to double, maybe triple jump. But this is very, very nice tool to create. Oh, come on, I, I did it before. Super nice assets to create platformers, uh, create uh, puzzle levels. Uh, play from here again. I know I'm cheating, but there's an elevator here that you can just stand on. It takes you down. There's a tilted lever over here that you just slide down on. And you fall into this room. A super cool particle effect. All of them are super cool. And you can get back to the lobby. So, yeah, uh, there are some basic blueprints. So, can I get to the, okay. I go to the second chamber. Uh, I'm going to cheat through this because I actually need to get over here. So, uh, you can create groups. And if you move one of them, it moves all of them. Which is nice. The same thing is over here. It's super nice to design the levels. But then again, the levels are playable. And all of these are like on a base blueprint. So, there are some materials, and I'm not sure what all settings, wall thickness. Yes, yeah, so we can play with this in a lot of ways. You can change the material. Like, I was actually thinking this one is going to be kind of lame. So this okay, this is a wall. Uh, is this wall the same one? No, that's a static mesh. Do we have a... This wall is based on that, right? Yes. So you can actually play with the columns in here. That's nice. What else do we have here as a blueprint? Oh, that's the stairs. I was actually thinking about looking at them. So, what are the options on them? Oh, so we can actually change the endpoint. And it's going to stretch them, create them. So this is a spline, right? OK, 
Can I please just... I don't seem to be able to change this. Yeah, this is 50. So this is a, like a stair spawn spawner. Or the other groups. That's the learning points that pop up the message. Uh, it's just a simple one. Strike. Showcases. Uh, actual static meshes. Strike the root. Ceilings. Oh yeah, there's this one. That's the ceiling, uh, it can be and cannot be a window. Nice. Oh, that's very, very cool. So this doesn't make for sense for the non-windows, but for windows you can have a support structure. Yeah, designing a level with this is super nice. Uh, where is actually this one located? So this one would be over here, right? Yeah, so here's the ceiling. There are conveyors. Oh, what's that one doing? Oh, that's like... Okay. Cool. That's for dropping items in the level elevator. Floating cubes. Floating sphere, floor, lamps. That's the platforms that fall down. That's a light sphere. Oh, it's actually here. Okay, cool. Uh, what else do we have here? Showcase, texture, walls. And the windowed walls. Can I see the windowed wall? Oh, that's windows on top. I have those over here, right? So, what's the options here? That is cool. Uh, my only question is, why do I have the other ones exposed if I can't? I can change this one. I can change this one, okay. Okay, that's nice. Like uh, the level of detail that went into designing this is cool. Uh, the things you can do with this are great. 
Like, I think this maze is a super nice example of how complex this can be. Wait. It is a spline. I see the spline now. So you can actually grab the point and move the walls. Uh, this is super cool for creating mazes. Like you just, uh, or anything, like the level. Like all of these walls are splines. So you can super easily modify the level. Oh, actually I have no idea what happens if I move it up. It breaks a bit, but that's fine. Can I play from here? I just want to see how much it broke. Yeah, that's fine. Because I made it impossible, so... Yeah, so portals... Uh, wall splines, the materials are great, come on. And yeah, I highly recommend using this. Uh, if you make a fu futuristic levels, if you make any sort of uh, like jumping puzzles and stuff like that, very nice. So yeah, feel, f feel free to grab this, it's free forever, and see you on next one, bye bye.